This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Good afternoon and welcome to the Wednesday edition of MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Janet Moreno. And I'm Cameron Court. With 35,000 students at Texas Tech, it's normal for some of them to just not know what they want to major in. Well, the university has a solution for that. The annual Majors and Minors Fair was held today from 11 to 1 in the McKinsey Market Alumni Center. It gave students a chance to meet and talk with professors, advisors, and students from every college and department at the university. You could even ask things about like required courses, admission requirements like GPA, and career prospects. We have students who come who are undecided. Um, we have students who are decided but are still unsure. Um, we have students who want to declare second majors or add minors to the majors that they already have selected. So um, the idea is that it's a one-stop shop for students to come and get all of their questions answered. Advisors were also on site to talk students through the process of switching majors and choosing a minor. And if you get around on two wheels, you had a chance for a free tune-up today outside the sub. Transportation and Parking Services offered a free bike clinic to students and staff with help from Bike Tech, the TTU Cycling Club, the Lubbock Bicycle Coalition, and Saddle Up Motorcycle Training. Techs were checking brakes, shifters, and offering minor fixes on the spot. Bigger Jobs got a referral to Bike Tech in the Outdoor Pursuit Center at the Rec. Pitbulls are popular with some folks, but there are just too many of them to find good homes for every dog. As reporter Kaylee Postel shows us, a local charity is literally trying to fix that. October's Pitbull Awareness Month, and on Saturday, Saving Grace Pitbull Rescue, a local nonprofit in Lubbock, partnered up with Live Oak Animal Hospital for the annual Pitbull Stop event. My name is Lauren Klein, and I'm one of the founders of Saving Grace. The main goal of this event is to get pit bull mixes in our community fixed or spayed um, and neutered. This event was free to the public and allowed dog owners to come by and have their dogs spayed, neutered, microchipped, or even get their vaccines. Uh, my name is Michael. Uh, this is Ducky. We're a regular volunteer at Saving Grace, so that's how we heard about the event. We thought we'd come out and help everybody out and uh, get her fixed. Many dog owners came with their pit bulls for this free event. I heard about it this year and we actually have one this year mm -hmm. so we like just rescued this one so we figured we'd come by and get the spay voucher get our little baby immunized and all that the pitbull stop event was a great success over a hundred dogs were spayed and neutered for mctv i am kaylee paulsell we could all use some tips on how to manage money better. Well, tomorrow afternoon you can get some. This is one of five events scheduled for Disability Awareness Week at Texas Tech. It's tomorrow from 2 to 3 in 246 West Hall. Experts will walk you through some basic personal finance tips that will help you budget and save. It's free. And Friday wraps up Disability Awareness Week with a costume contest in 335 West Hall. The first five students to visit Student Disability Services in costume will win prizes. We're going to tell you about some other Halloween activities coming up the next couple of days, but I wonder if the weather will behave. Yeah, it's definitely cooler these days, especially at night. Let's take a look at the MCTV Live Tower Cam. Today we'll have clear skies and top out around 70. Then we'll dip into the 40s the next couple of nights, so keep, keep a jacket handy if you'll be out. Tomorrow the high should be in the mid-70s, and again, it ought to be clear and sunny. We're expecting a mild cold front after that, which will leave us with highs in the 60s Friday. It should be sunny in 60s for Saturday's game against Texas, too. Hey Janet, you know that Michael Jackson video thriller, right? Yeah. Did you know it's more than 30 years old? Wow, <laughs> that's really old, but we had a much more recent version marching away right here at Tech. Some organizers from Rec Sports organized a thriller dance class. Students were invited to drop by room 114 at the Rec last night at 7.15 to learn some of Michael Jackson's moves. As you can see, students were encouraged to wear costumes, including a prize for the best one. Looks like fun. Folks will be running instead of dancing tonight in Urbanowski Park, but you might see some more funny costumes. You can join the Monster Dash, which is a 3.1 mile run around the Rec and United Supermarkets Arena starting at 6.00. There is an entry fee, $20, or you can bring three canned goods to get $5 off. All of it goes to the South Plains Food Bank, and costumes are encouraged. This is the second year for the Monster Dash, sponsored by Tech Triathlon. 
If you aren't scared by those costumes, you might want to drop by the Alamo Draft House after the Monster Dash. They'll be showing Kronos, a 20-year-old classic from Mexican director Guillermo del Toro. Kronos is a vampire classic set in both the 16th and 20th centuries, and it won many awards. Texas Tech professor of geology Gary Elbow will lead a discussion after the film. You can reserve a spot for $5 to the Alamo Draft House. And if you just want some scary music without all the terrifying vampires, then the concert is more your speed. The University Symphony Orchestra will play Halloween themed music starting at 7 in the Hemley Recital Hall. You might even get a chance to conduct the orchestra. Before that though, they'll host a musical instrument petting zoo in the lobby. Musicians in the orchestra and guests are all encouraged to wear costumes. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, it does, but they must think really hard about their costumes. I mean, it's hard enough to play a violin without a costume getting in the way. It still sounds like fun, though. That's all for the Wednesday edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to check out ttuhub.net every day for more news. We'll see you tomorrow.